Kia ora everybody and welcome back to Elden Ring. I'm Skating Hobo, you can call me Bailey, and today we're going to be running around doing a few things before we head up to the Altus Plateau. Because I was thinking about it this morning before I jumped on to start recording, and I thought yeah we could take these paths, you know, either of them and get up here and start doing stuff around here. But maybe it will be smart to check out these caves that I haven't yet, and also these towers that are now active, so we can go up and along here. And maybe even this down area, because I don't really remember what's down here. I thought you came here for a Rani quest, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we should go check it out. So, we'll do that today. I think we'll start by going to this down area. Go deal with the ants, because they shouldn't be a problem at all. But yeah, I hope everyone's doing real well today. Um, turned out pretty nice here today. It started off real overcast this morning. I thought it was going to pour down. The weather said it was going to, so it's nice to see it hasn't. Um, little disclaimer, if you hear construction noises, my uh, driveway... He's got some like dudes working on like a, a hole or something in it, so that's going on today. So just excuse that. Uh, apologies in advance if that annoys you, but it's just what it is. It might be on today and tomorrow. Um, hopefully not much longer than that, but I don't know how long it'll actually take. First we'll just run on down here. I remember if oh yeah, we can see a little thing. I, say, I can't remember if there's anything here, but always good to check. Especially if you can't remember. You know, if you've played a game before... And you're like, oh, I can't remember if anything's down there. Why not just check? I remember you, buddy. Shining away. I wonder if we actually needed to charge that or if we could have just thrown it. Yuck. But yeah, down here the enemies are all, I think all of them, are just ants. As you can see, we've got like one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, looks like five. It's hard to tell with these. <coughs> Excuse me. With these uh, two on the left here. I mean on the right. Let's try a regular one. Not quite a kill. Oh, and that brought down a couple. Alright, we'll just hit them. Oh, not if we run out. Yuck, what is that? Oh, you tried to come through your dead friend. Yuck. Alright, we'll drink up. And take out these ones. I should hold it. And that'll be enough. And then, yo, can I, can I, can I target you? Hello? Maybe if I just try loose target. Oh, yo, we got it. Hell yeah. Charges back up our flasks. Nice. They're not worth, like, the most amount of runes, but, um, I don't know. I think it's worth taking them out anyway. Grace Mimic. You see that one's walking down there, but I think we got a, yeah. What do you think you are, an imp? That's enough out of you. Hmm, I don't remember if we go left or right first. Oh, hey. Homie wants me to go right. Uh, from what I can remember, we go left first, because I think this is for loot. I might be wrong, you know, you never know. I mean, you might know. I don't know. Smoothing three, not quite. It's always good to, like, kind of click in the right stick as you run around these areas in case of, um, yeah, jabroni's falling out. Where'd you even come from? It's fine. I have my katana, I will kill you. And where'd you come from? Well, these guys just kind of appeared. But they did. I don't know if they dropped much. So, you know, you can try fire. Oh, hey, fellas. Almost got the drop on me. Hold up. Why were you four? Everyone else has been three so far. Little shit. Nice. I'll keep clicking on my uh, right stick to see if we target lock onto anything, but I think this is stuff down that way. I don't just think there's much up there. Got some silver fireflies. Yeah, there's this one here. Oh, that's not my spell. Just lift my shield up and I'm like, yeah, what's up? Um, again, I don't remember if we go left or right. Let's have a look what's down there. Well, that's pretty blank. Uh, let's try left again first. The other one was a dead end. Maybe it's going to be twice, you know? Another three. So this is probably an e earlier area. Like, the same way that you can tell if the area is meant to be difficult based on, like, how many hits it takes on a um, scarab, you can kind of tell based on the loot that you'll find around as well. If you're finding, like, smithing ones and twos, you're probably in an earlier... Whoa, okay. Earlier area. We'll aim for the closer ones, I guess, first. Um, if you're finding, like, you know, smithing eights and stuff, then yeah, you're probably near the end of the game. <laughs> oh, two for one. 
It's tasty. Oh, I don't think that was gonna reach. And then we'll get the mama. Can we get her? Yeah. Boom! I think that thing will always drop you like a spell or an ash or something. We'll see right now. Golden rune and a rune arc. Oh, maybe it's a rune arc. I know they always drop something like when you kill the big one, so... If you see one, you know, pop it. Now, uh, if this leads to something, we might end up looping back around and seeing what's that other way as well. We'll just kind of explore this way. Kind of see if I can remember what's around here or um, why we come here. Oh. Huh. Now, I think this is the intended path, or at least it differs from the other way. Palace ruins. Hmm. Bunch of, like, mining zombie kind of guys there, and we can summon. Okay, well, let's drop onto this and uh, see what's in there. I don't really remember this area at all. I know I would have come down here in my... Oh, yes! What do we need? I would have come down here in my main playthrough for sure. Three more. Three more. Nice. Let's see what this is. Oh, I hope we can make that. Yeah. I guess I'll um summon up and we'll... Oh, just a celestial dew. Do we go around the back here? No, it doesn't look like it's worth it. I think I saw something else down here. And then we'll check out what's in there. With our mimic. And then, um, oops, uh, okay, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that, I was gonna drink and I just pressed the wrong button thinking like, I was thinking, yeah, I want to refresh my spells, and then I just pressed the cast spell button. Alright, well, I guess we can just like, see how Mimic does. Oh, there's a lot of dudes, holy shit, there's a lot of dudes down there. Um, is he gonna be okay? Yeah, he's getting kind of like, done. Oh no, he's putting in work. He is getting a bit done though, bro, yeah, you might want to, ooh. <laughs> what do we do when he dies? Hold on. Is this even going to reach down there? I don't think it did. Oh, it went down there. Hold on, I'll drink another one and see if we can help him. Oh, did he just die? Oh, shit. Now it's me versus like 20 dudes. Oh, okay, hold on. We took out a few with that. Fuck you. Ah, oh, nice. Mimic. He did a good job. Very well done, in my opinion. Get a firefly. Oh, we can charge up. Whoa, what's bro doing? Oh, is that the bubble? Oh, these are guys from, like, early Seerfer, I guess. Hey, get out of here. There's more? Damn, you guys are persistent. I'll give you that. Whoa, 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 buddy. Is there more behind us? I swear I'm hearing stuff, but maybe it's just this one slowly dying. They kind of, like, turn into a puddle. Whoa, he's got the roly-polies. Whoa. Do they bleed? Oh, that's the option we want to do. Wowzers. All right, well, th there's guys everywhere. Look at them all. They're in the waterfall, too. This place is probably like an ambush spot. I think dropping in Mimic and then just breathing all over them was kind of like the go. That definitely did well. Um, I think that's an elevator to the intended path. So what's that lead to? Should we go check out, or should we see if there's a grace up here first? We won't rest at it so those dudes don't respawn, but I wouldn't mind... Um, Having a safe spot, you know? Ooh, uh, do we need to pull the lever? It looks like it. Where's this gonna lead us? You know, maybe we'll come back and jump on this. Well, um, oh, there's loot in here too. I get nervous about going in water, man. You never know how deep it's gonna be. But I suppose if those bozos... Are, holy shit, look at all the bozos. Alright, hold on, guys. Nice. Who's left? <laughs> One lone soldier. Sorry, buddy, not today. I'm taking all your fireflies. God. Am I the bad guy? Those guys were all just hanging out having a river party. Like, for all I know, they had the barbecue going. They were had the one friend on the way with the Yui Boom. Or maybe we already killed the guy with the Yui Boom. Who knows? They were waiting for the music and the food so they could start the party. And I just showed up and said, Hey, you guys look different from me, so I'm going to kill you. And they were like, What the hell, man? That's right. Oh, there's another path? Dude. I don't remember which way is the way to go. I feel like the elevator leads us to a grace. That's what my, my gut tells me. I don't remember what this leads to, but maybe we'll see what this says. Monster ahead. Okay. Um, this guy is... Oh, he's getting killed by the, by the swarm. That's fine. We took out the swarm. Oh, it's this area. Huh. Nope. We aren't coming here yet. We come in from the other way. So let's try going one of the other ways. You may, those things shoot like magic rocks at you. 
they're pretty cool looking enemies, pretty unique uh, things. There's like a boss you fight that looks like kind of one of them. It's like the natural born of the void or something. Let's see where this thing leads before we go up the elevator, I guess, you know? Be risque. Is this going to take us out to the same place but like lower? Yeah, it is. Okay, well, um, has he seen us? We're kind of chilling. If he's going to let us chill, I'll... Nah, he's not going to let us chill, I don't care. Then we'll go up the elevator way. I want to make sure i got somewhere safe to be. I'm playing it safe when I don't know where to go, you know? If I feel confident, like it's Stormvale or it's um, Morn Castle or any of that shit, or even like um, the Academy, yeah, I'll probably run around like I know what's what. You know, I'll run around like I own the place. Whereas this area, I'm like, oh, I am an adventurer. I need to be safe and I need to be smart. <gasps> Moons. Maybe. Smithing one. Oh, well, that's not hype at all. Right, let's hit up this thing and see if my gut was right. If there's a grace this way or if I shouldn't listen to my gut today. Honestly, I just finished lunch before I started recording and my gut is doing that. Oh, excuse me, I just did a little burp to kind of go with it. But my gut's doing that, like, digesting thing. And, man, I feel pretty good. Had some steak and chips with some eggs. It's freaking yum. All right, where are we? What am I? Oh, yep, there's a grace. I was right. I don't think I'll rest at this one just in case we do decide to go back down the other way in case this is just like a nothing burger. What's this? I think that's where we're going to be going, actually. Alright, what's this say? No head ahead. Wait, what? Oh, man. Oh, right there. I see, I see. I was like, what? But I love head. Behold. God. Oh, okay. So yeah, when I feel like I'm in like an area I don't really know, as you can tell now, uh, I, I like take my time a bit more, you know, there's less running around, and a lot more like looking at things, a lot more um, clicking in my stick, which I don't know if you can tell I'm doing, but if the occasional, you know, the camera like twitches or something, that's because I'm clicking on my stick waiting to see if like an enemy's, you know, hiding around a corner. Shadow shard arrows fletched, smithing three, kind of whatever, I don't think I can see anything else worth caring about around here. Alright, well, let's um, head up this and see where this leads. Oh, is this back to this way? It is. Huh. Okay, so I'm guessing we have to go through the big dangly monster if we want to proceed. That's fine. We should be able to do that easy enough. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a good thing we didn't rest of that grace thing, because then we have no more things to fight. We just have to run back. And I can kind of double check for loot I might have missed. <coughs> oh my god. Alright. Excuse me again. Let us continue. I like that in this game, at least when there's no enemies around, sprinting doesn't drain your stamina. You know how in most like RPGs... Yeah, so I guess we'll go that way. But you know, in most RPGs, if you sprint whether or not you're in combat, usually it drains your stamina anyway, like in, I don't know, Bethesda games and Legend of Zelda games, all those kind of things come to mind, and I'm like, man, this is good, no enemies, no stamina drain, like, who cares if it's realistic or not, like, yeah, let me run forever, let me sprint forever, when there's enemies around, yeah, drain my stamina, because, you know, and it's also a good way to, you know, it's a good combat indicator, if your stamina starts draining when you're running and jumping, something's got your booty, man, alright, so yeah, there's big monster, we're just gonna run straight into here, or maybe we did want to come up from the other path, because I think it would take us, like, that up area. Maybe we should. But you know what? I'm going to... Oh, wait. I'll let it do another shot, and then I'll run and loot these stairs. Because I get the feeling that other pathway, the, you know, the one through the little tunnel, takes us just to that upper area. This thing shouldn't be too much of a um, threat. Yeah, like, they hurt, but they don't, like, stagger or anything, so you can, like, just kind of do your run past... These guys are probably the bigger problem, because I think there's a lot of them. I, yeah, the homie up there will, will hit the little dudes. We can't reach him, so there's no point in worrying about him. I think we're just heading through here, if memory serves. Yay! We get the map. Da -da 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 -da. And then we get a merchant. Hello. Oh, no, wrong button, sorry. So it's got gravity stones, um... A Celestial Dew, this is for Thor Frost and Stimulating, I might buy that. That is for Acid Spray Mist. I guess I'll buy it. 
The perfume and stuff's like pretty interesting, and I can't remember too much about all of them, so I'll just buy them each. And then you get the prisoner's mask from the prisoner class at the start of the game, which we don't really need, but I kind of want to collect, was that three and a half grand? Yeah, why not? I'll just buy it now. That way I don't have to remember this guy at all and don't have to come back to him. Boom. Thanks, brother. All right, so now we have the map, and I can kind of remember where to go, if I can at least try. I think if we go down here, that's the path. That's that's roughly where my memory's telling me to go, so let's go that way. It'd be cool if we could summon the, um, you know, torrent right around now, and actually ride around this place, but I guess it'd be too easy to dodge the big uh, dangly monster with its rocks, so the game doesn't let you. Grab this, another three threes, I mean that's pretty useful. Get close enough to clear that, and then i uh, got another grace. This one I probably will sit at, because I don't see us needing to worry about going back through that horde of dudes again. And if we do need to, I know now that I can just run. Because they're all just a bunch of rocky idiots. Alright. Let's grab this. Ghost one. I can't remember what one we needed. I think it was like a five or something. Um... I think that's Scarlet Rot, that pink shit, but I don't know. We'll, we'll run up to it and see. Oh, too far? That's embarrassing. Yeah, there we go. We took the extra step forward and got it. Any more, you assholes? Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Sorry, embarrassing. See the... Oh, I didn't do a full charge. Sorry. I want it to be quick and painless, you know? I don't want to injure the ants. What if they're not even hostile? They are. Okay, now this isn't Scarlet Rot. It's just stinky bodies. Get the immunizing horn charm, which is pretty useful for an area coming up. Actually, I think if we go into here, we can see it. I think if I remember correctly, this is like a preview. Oh, there's basilisks though, eh? Hmm. Is this even worth it? Ah, oh, fuck it. We'll do it for the content, right? We only got 2,000 souls. Wee! But yeah, there's um these infamous... Uh, basilisks from like you know Dark Souls 1 and onwards a classic from soft enemy boom the lake of rot I don't think they come up here oh they do okay well we came we saw we looted oh there's one loot here smithing four soap bro what are you trying to say I don't think there's any more loot we'll just do a quick like run and check you guarding anything nope just two dickheads making out in a cave Alright, cool, yeah, fuck those guys, fuck their mothers, fuck their whole family tree. Anyway, in this game though, they don't turn you into stone, they just cast death on you, so once the bar fills up, you're done, bye bye, back to the grace, game over, please insert another quarter, try again. Like, that's pretty brutal to me. But like, obviously as you see, they're not like, a threat, a threat, you just run past. If you want to stand and fight them because you've got something to prove, good on you, but the need to fight everything is a very... I don't know, very good mindset to get out of when you play these games. Yeah, so this thing leads you to the Scarlet Rock balcony, and it's kind of lets you know that this would lead you to the uh, Lake of Rot or whatever. So we'll run up and through this area. I don't remember if there's enemies in this little wide part. Hello? No enemy ahead, but visions of boss. Alright, alright. I don't really know if I remember what's coming up, but I think I should drink this. Some melted mushies. That'll happen to most mushrooms if you put them in water. They start getting like melty and gooey. It's weird. I wonder what the boss is. I don't know if I remember. Do we have to fight the like the baneful spirit in here? Hmm. Why don't we fight that somewhere? I feel like I should um Oh no, is this the Oh this is just another Dragon King soldier. Yo, this is easy. Uh I think we should be able to summon, so we should be good. It's um not <laughs> equip our thing in two hands. Let's do this, and then I'll probably just go for the rot tactics. I think that's a really good one. Wait until we can summon. There it comes. Hello. Get a little drink in. Get our safety shield on. Let him show up. Mimic will probably eat his piece of meat. Keep your eye on him. He'll probably eat some meat. Nope, he's just going to take one to the face. Okay. Yeah, we do, and like, 201 hit, that's that's enough that this boss is not a threat. Like, that percentage of his health as well. Like, look at that, that's big enough chunks that you could just, like, go to town. Ooh, my shield, you bastard. 
I know you fight three of these guys. Um, I think this one is technically classed probably as like the first hardest. I think the one we fought was the second hardest. Whoops. At the like Sea of River, but I might be wrong. This guy might be second, but the third one's definitely um, the one in the Lake of Rot. We're both just like rotting the shit out of this guy. Bro understands the mission. Oh yeah, I think he gives us um, yeah that spell, Frozen Lightning. So we'll get a spell where we can like throw lightning, and it then makes like a lightning effect. Whoa! I wasn't expecting that. That was kind of cool. <laughs> um, are you still in the fight, brother? Oh yeah. All right, my turn. But yeah, so he's got like ice, um, thunder. Very cool concept. I like it a lot. But he can't withstand my fireball. Oh, minion. I mean, <laughs> not minion. Mimic. What the heck? That was mine. Yeah. So we get frozen lightning spear. It looks really cool. It is okay. It is an okay spell. At least as far as I could tell when I was using it in my main playthrough. It's very cool looking, very flashy, but um, uh, it's just not that great damage wise. It's one of those ones that if your summon or something is like distracting the enemy, you can probably get both of the hits off. Otherwise, you're just going to get one of the two hits off because things move too fast. All right, we can't even level up from that fight because maybe we meant to come here earlier, but we did it now. Otherwise, I don't think we need to do much here then. Alright, I think then from here, is that where, yeah, this is where the, um, thing is, yeah, we should get, I can't remember what's in here to be honest, ah, brilliant, the last uh, required material for upgrading our Mimic, so if we find the, what was it, 567? If we find them, don't you dare. If only I had a coffin. Yeah, I, I thought there was like a coffin thing around here. Maybe it's the other side. Huh, maybe I'm remembering it wrong. Maybe that's all we come here for. Weird. No coffin? Liar ahead. Yeah, I'm not jumping. Don't worry. You hold great. Yeah, I can see the grace down there, but... Wait. Is that... Like a lower part that you go to for part of Rani's quest, maybe? Maybe that's what it is. Or maybe it's Fear's quest. I don't remember. Maybe this is as far as we go for now, and then later when we've done Noxtella. Or Nokron, sorry. This is Noxtella. Maybe when we've done Nokron, it'll let us go through there. Where was the grace that we... Was it Night Sacred Ground? Yeah, I think it was. Let's go to the Night Sacred Ground. And progress Rani's quest to see if there's anything that I can remember with that place, but I don't know. We're just gonna have to freeball it, see how we do. But this is another. We're already at the boss fight zone, so this will be quite easy. Got to fight the mimics and stuff. I suggest today how this will go. Some of these are actual mimics, some of these are these like silver blobs. And for the most part, you just gotta, yeah, make your way through and figure it out on your way. Good idea, Mimic. We'll hit him with the blood. Nice. He's done. Anyone else want to transform? Damn dittos. Come on. Yeah, Mimic, you go fight them. I got this guy. Don't worry. Oh, sorry for ruining your breath, but I got him in the iframe moment. Yeah, see, he's decided to use the fire grease instead of using blood flame, so I guess these things are weak to fire? Or at least that's the stronger option this, this time around. Maybe they're resistant to bleed. I don't know. I mean, they are bleeding, so that's probably not the case. And I don't think he'd cast blood flies if they were. Ah, yeah. Now we got a troll. Troll in the dungeon. Oh, oops, not quite on time. Gonna do the sword pull. Oh, Mimic went off to fight the other slime. Oh, damn. Bro took that good step back. But he's done. Call your mum, bro. She can pick you up now. What are you doing? What are you doing, you silly goose? What do you think you're fighting? Oh, he's done. We're done. 
I believe what we need to grab is just up here for Rani's quest, so we'll grab this and I think we can just go show it off to her and she'll be like, oh wow, you're fantastic, thank you. Um, I have the urge to run around the behind of this building, but I really feel like there's nothing there other than a, like a, every time I've done it, there's a marker that's like, if only I had a treasure. Oh, and we get another great ghost guy port here. <laughs> cool. So we've got two, if you have another legendary mimic or, you know, legendary summon that you want to upgrade, that's the way. Wow, that's very cool. Okay, yeah, I think this will just be like... Why is it always utility? I agree, brother. Alright, let's drink up, because I don't remember where that teleporter takes us, but then we'll take the um teleporter that is seen just here. Oui. Oui. Ah, oh, we're just back here. Okay, so yeah, if you give Rani the Finger Slayer Blade, as I've said, if her quest progresses, she'll kill Silivus and um, that puppet dude that's um, down in... Oh gosh, where is it again? The one that's over here somewhere. Yeah, him. Peter. Or Pedia. Or Pydia. Or what, however you say this guy's name. She'll kill... Rani will kill Silivus and Pedia when you give her the Finger Slayer's Blade or whatever it is, because that progresses her quest line and that would be their point of... That's like beyond their point of progression because they try to do that before that happens with her. So, let's, um, how close are we? 3k? 3.3ish? Need a little bit more. Let's just use two of these. Oh, I guess we'll just use four because I did that first. Cool. Well, that should be enough. Put our level up in. And, um, I still don't know if this area is, like, where we're meant to be, this ancestor level area. I don't know if we're appropriate for it. Uh, I think we'll just go endurance to 20 and then go mine to 20 and then vigor 40. Yeah, that'll be the go. We don't really need our mine too much. We might even go vigor first. But yeah, let's see how we do combat-wise against these physical ones, not the spiritual ones. Because you know last time they were like blue? Even though she looks at now, they're not actually. She's, um... Oh, that is not much damage. That's gonna... Oh, there, that hurts. I don't know if we're meant to be here, fam. Yeah, let's let's go. Bye. Bye, guys. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to mess with your lady. Ho oh, oh, ho. Okay, we will come back here. This is... The, there's no real need to continue much further through here anyway. Unless we're doing Fear's Quest, which doesn't really start up and progress until Altus Plateau. So... Yeah, that leads to that, which is that dead end area. I don't remember how or what is up here. Hmm. Maybe this is where you start with Rani? And then you, like, get led down to here? And that's what leads you to the thing? I really don't remember. It's, it's kind of cool, though. It's, it's nice. We're going to go from here to here now. Head up to the tower and do the first half of it. We can't do the other half until... Well, actually, we could do the other half very soon if we wanted. We have to get an uh, item from Rani. And then we can do the other half. But it's not really that important. It's all, I believe, for mage-based things. So, you know, it's up to you for how much you care about doing this. Uh, I just really want the runes. I kind of want some levels. And yes, I could just go do boss fights and stuff or go do some I don't know caves I guess or maybe even grind even though I see there's no need to we could grind but I just want the levels to come from content so I'm just going to do stuff that I know is around that I know I haven't done yet and uh, like I said before if there's something you notice I've forgotten drop a comment down below if it's in one of the areas we've already been to more than happy to rock back to it I can hear an orb what are you? Somber 3 nice alright and then we get... can't remember what this place is called. Is it the Karian Tower or something? Ah, oh, Study Hall. Right. Cool. So yeah, that pillar up in front of us there, or I guess Plata or Altar or whatever, Pedestal, um, when you get like a thing from Rani, you can put it there and it'll flip the whole tower upside down. And then you can access the other half of the tower. But for now, we can access... The, I guess it's the other two-thirds you can see some like hands all around there's some hands in here there's like a magical archer and stuff the archer is probably the biggest threat you probably want to rush to kill him once he spawns but until then just take it easy we'll um take out some handies oh not quite a one hit do you drop down here too or are you too far over like i think a lot of these enemies 
either drop or they're just intended to like be seen but you don't actually experience them and deal with them yeah we can run away from them they don't matter keep our mana topped up though but i think you mean to just like see them opposed to experiencing them like those ones over there under the bridge you don't deal with them until later when the flip happens all right so this is our real target here yeah he's like a magical archer and that shit hurts if it hits you don't hit the wall bro and then yeah he'll do that where you get him to a certain point and then he teleports away right now we're in a pretty safe spot because he'll keep shooting that um barrier but yeah i just remember this dude my first time through here holy shit because i was like trying to kill everything around then try fighting him because i was like okay he's a problem but like he's range so i kind of want to make everything that's around me go away first oh what the hell are we locking on to down there for what lock onto the clear target in front of me silly game okay he's gone up top cool so we'll just um grab this and when he's up top ah oh, fuck off <laughs> when he's up top you should be sweet to kind of chill a bit because none of his shots should get through to you drink this and you know what i'm gonna pop this too for double heal over time and if you wanted you could equip that talisman if you remember that one we got from when we went to the giant's divine bridge thingy all right so this one oh i forget they track you right you have to roll Whenever you get close to him, he will warp. And if you can time it right, like I'm trying to do now, his warp should time with his shot so that you can um, pretty much make him always miss. Not quite then. I think we're out of time now because he got stuck behind that. Yeah, ooh, wow. But you can see it fucking hurts. <laughs> so, you want to really... But yeah, he'll keep going around until he's in a full lap. And once he's done his full lap... Ooh, didn't roll. Looted. Oh, what's that one? That's a bit different. It's got like a little rain shower one. Cute. I don't think I've seen that before. Go on. Fuck off. Yep. This is pretty much the, the go though. You're just like, yeah, when you teleport, you can wait. Hit the barrier. Load up another shot. Run and roll. Oh, didn't roll on time. Said the word. Didn't do the action. Can take the corner to heal. There's not many other enemies in here that are a threat. There's mostly those blue guys and then there's some rats. Ah, oh, I thought he stopped there, but he's still going. Maybe we have to catch him. Bro, I thought he did one lap. I guess I got lucky. <laughs> He's just going to keep going. Bro, no way. That's mad annoying. Alright, you come here. Stop that shit right now. What the heck? Ain't no way. No. No. Get out of here, you jabronis. I want the homie. Why am I not running? He was, like, walking. Ah, oh, what is this? Now he's casting his little rain spell. And I didn't dodge the arrow. Hold on. Well, now I'm a bit like... Ah, oh, shit. That's not what I meant to do. Now I'm a bit like, alright, you fucking come here. I'm gonna show you my spells. Yeah, you cast that. Oh, yeah, you stay right behind that ladder. No, he's faster than me. He knew. Little shit. Alright, I'll try one of these. Ah, oh, not quite range. Do I have my bow? I don't even have my bow equip, eh? Because it was too heavy. I don't think running counterclockwise helps. I think he'll just stay where he... Oh, what the heck? Yeah, don't go anywhere, bro. You stay right here. Bro, fuck your little minions. Okay, that's good enough. All the rest of you... Fuck off. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. So we get his little shitty spell, magic downpour. Someone's one of those things that, you know, rain some stuff on you for a bit. And I think there's some loot up here, but really that's all you want to do. You want to kill that first dude, because I think if you don't, they're both here but i might be wrong they might not even be important to come here the first time i just want to only come when you flip it maybe this is just for the sake of loot i don't know this is just how i did it the first time so i'm doing it the same way you know get this guy okay we're gonna do like a jump heavy and then take the ladder i don't know if those other guys drop down or if they just kind of like see you and then get all pressed about it but we should be good to run over yeah i'm definitely like quote unquote in combat oh yeah one drop down hey buddy buddy oh that was a dangerous move by oh hey ah <laughs> what are you doing here why am I locking onto everything but the target in front of me what is that shit hold on bud I said hold on please um is there a way I can safely maneuver back to the oh maybe that way hold on this might work this might not be a wash 
Yeah, 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 this looks fine. Okay. There was a loot up there, so I do want to see what it is. That guy sounded like he got surprised. Fucking don't do it. I gotta pull a lever, eh? Yep. Little shit. Don't you even think about it. You thought about it, eh? That's it. It's your fault. You asked for this. He thought about it too, but he tried to hide it, so that's okay. We'll forgive him. I really shouldn't drink any more of my potions because I might be wrong and there might be more enemies in here. So let's um, use one of these and uh, let's not do the jump attack actually. That was probably a bad call. Once I had said it out loud, I should have really thought, actually no, let's not do jump attacks on rats here. Let's just take the three hits. Don't worry about me guys. Just yeah, keep your meandering zombie actions on. It's fine. Cool. Let's head this way again. That was such a clutch save. I really thought we were dead. And I think, like, well, that fucking sucks. I hope the item up here is worth it. But, you know, where was it? Over there. Alright, hey, Rattus. Rattus. You want to fight me, Rattus? Kia! Okay. That works. The Cerulean Sea Talus. Wow. It was really not worth it to come here. Didn't get that. That, um, make. Bruv. Oh, he survived, like me. Um, that makes your Cerulean Tears do more, uh, like more. Like, as, the same as if you add a, um, what are they called? A Sacred Tear. I'm just jumping to see if we're out of combat. Cool, we are. Uh, I think we can walk from here. We can. Cool, well then let's head to. Oh, let's go to the, the Gale. Or Jail. Or Ga I think it's Gale, because the other one below it must be Jail, because it's spelled the same as Eva Jail. But let's head to this tunnel first. Um, I'll just have a little sit to make sure we're actually safely sitting here. And if you remember, this is when we ran through just to progress Alistair's um, dialogue. And now we're just going to actually do it. I think we might have looted a lot of the smithing stones around here, so there's probably not much loot to actually grab. But there's enemies to fight and a boss to kill. And it does give us a katana, but it is an um, intelligence-based one. Oh, you know what? We'll get firebombs for these guys too. I didn't mean to do this. Yeah, burn, motherfucker. Oh. Oh, he drops fours, though. Hold on a tick. Two more of them, and I'm a happy boy. How many fives do I have? Six. I can get two levels. Six more, and we can get four. Oh, my gosh. Hey, Bozo, what are you doing? Oh, are you watching the octopus? What was it doing? Oh, something else got angry. Hey, just because I killed your octopus enthusiast friend doesn't mean you should get angry at me, okay? He should have been doing more on the job. Why was there a single octopus? Ah, oh, looks like there's going to be a big octopus. Not a fan. Oh, but there's a smithing stone. What if it's a four? Yeah, there's a big octopus. There's two smithing stones. What if they're both fours? Okay, this is, this is so worth it. Here we go. Fuck you. Ah, ah, yuck. It's not even like they're that hard. They're just... Like, what is all this? Oh, gosh. I think I'm under it. Get the fuck away. No. Yeah, you want to hit it in its little beak and then stab it in the, the hole it makes when it tucks it in. And then just give it the old slappy, slippy, sloppy slaps. Yeah, fuck you. You're disgusting. And his little friend's running over. Tell him no. They have to listen. Consent's super important. Well, that was yuck, but we did it. It was a smithing four. It's fucking worth it, please. Oh, baby. Oh, and the cross, uh, Naginata. Naginata? I don't know if I'm saying that right. Apologies if I offended anyone with that terrible pronunciation. I'm trying my best, okay? Anyway, we have two smithing fours. Um, fuck yeah. That's on. Hell to the year. Hey, you. Why don't you shut up and die? Oh, sorry. Hold on. And you? Will you explode? Your back looks like it's going to blow up if it catches fire. Yeah, here he goes. All I do, I do for Allah. Hey, what's this one? Is this another four? Oh, baby. The fuck out of here. Don't hit me. That's rude. Hey, um. Oh, the other guy on the right saw me. But that dude will blow up. Oh, he blew his little horn. 
and he didn't notice his friend getting freaking got. Good music solo, but your friend's dead. Maybe pursue a career in defending your friends, buddy. Don't worry so much about blowing your trumpet. But you can blow my whistle, baby, whistle, baby. Let me know when there's a tarnished in the cave. I'ma make it blow. Yeah, I just put my lips together, then I go real slow. Oh shit, there's more homies here than I realized. Hold on. Can you blow up? Or maybe you? Oh no, his friend's gonna hit me. Hey, they don't blow up either of them. Alright, hold on. I don't know where the like panicked British accent comes from, but that's my version of panicking. If you hear me going like hard British and we're in like combat, I'm panicked. I'm panicked. <laughs> hey. Nice ass. Asshole. Can I hit you with the old shish kabam? Yeah, and now is there someone down there you can hit? No? Well there's one here, I see him. Hey, I said fuck you, I won't do what you tell me. Fuck you, I won't Man, we are just on a musical spree today. It's probably because I did a lot of singing in the morning on the car. Go for my morning drive, just drive around, do my things, do my errands and whatever. Oh, more force. We are blessed today. Bless up everybody. <coughs> Excuse me. Right on. I believe this is near the exit anyway, so what we'll do is because yeah this is where the boss fight is this is where alexander would have been sitting and this is another grace beautiful so we can get all our stuff back if we want and we could try and fight this dude right but what i'm thinking is can we warp right now no we can't hold on let's get out to the fresh open air so we can warp what i'm thinking is why don't we go upgrade our katana first why don't we make ourselves just that little bit stronger no harm we got the time to do that Take out this boss, maybe with our newfound strength, we'll be able to clear through the next cave that we do even faster. It'll be beautiful, baby. Do you think he thinks we were dead? Well, I took you for dead, man. Yerp. <laughs> Silly motherfucker. No, 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 no. Uh, strength and armor. It's at the top, Bailey. Come on. Alright. So I need five. Oh, sorry, six fives now. Beautiful. And we still need a somber six for that. That's awesome. Hell yeah. Hey, do I have enough things for my thing? No, I need a 5, 6, 7, I believe it was. And then I have an 8, 9, and a 10. Awesome. Cool. Let's get back to that uh, cave. So yeah, main entrance we went through. Rear entrance, we can just go straight to the boss, which is nice and good like that. Alright. So, and, and let's have a little look at it here again. Oh no, wait, it'll be equipment, yeah. So this is doing 190 plus 102, blood loss build up of 45. Now I don't know if we can build this upcoming enemy, but I mean, Dex that Galing B? That's pretty nice. Might need to start leveling up our Dex once we've had our soft caps on things. And then, ooh, we could get that little bit more defense back. I like that. I like that a lot. Alright, this should be a, a easy, easy wipe with uh, Mimic, um, but prior it might have been a bit of a challenge. We'll um, let it do its first attack before we summon though, or else there's a good chance it'll hit us. Actually, you know what, we might just be able to do it right now. I'm going to start tapping. I forgot he was asleep first, but he rushes. Yeah, like this, and he's going to spew lava. Oh no, he took it easy. He's going for a swipe. Yo, like the three tries I did my first time. He like rushed me and breathed lather on me every time. I was like, okay, I'm gonna take my time, run in, and then summon. And I only had the wolves and stuff because I was just like trying to brute force this because I was determined to. Oh, hey, buddy, buddy, old pal. His head's his weak spot. If you can get like big stagger shots on that, it'll do like good damage. I think we can Scarlet Rod him too, so that's gonna be the goal. He's probably gonna swing on me. Oops, that was not a mana one. Oh, he is rot. Beautiful. Now we just go for the bleeds. But yeah, Mimic's not quite the best tank yet, but he's definitely getting up there. But yeah, look at that. Just chunks him away. You can probably not even aim for the head. We're going for the belly because it'll stay more stationary. We don't need the big uh, stagger. We just want to get the bleed. Oh, looking at my fist like, why are you tapping spells? I don't got any mana. Oh, there goes Mimic. I might have to take it more serious by myself now. Though he is Scarlet Rot. 
Oh, hey, 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 hey. None of that. Alright, my turn. And you're done. Okay, you're done. Someone call your mum. Because you need to be picked up. Oh yeah, you get a dragon heart from these guys too. And Moonvale. It's a very good um, intelligence katana. But it is an intelligence katana nonetheless. So, we don't really want it. But that is good. That one's done. I can take it off our little list of caves we have ran through but not done. Or ran to but not done. Leaves us two more. The War Dead Catacombs are probably post Altus because I'm pretty sure they're pretty tough. Um, but this one shouldn't be too tough. The thing is it's quite long and we've only got like 10-ish left. So I think what we'll do is go drop off the Finger Slayer's Blade to Rani. Because like I said, I don't really care for Salivus or his quests. Especially not for this playthrough. Maybe in a future one. Maybe if we're doing like a mage thing. Or maybe if we're doing someone else. We'll worry about getting the summons. Or maybe even if we just do this game's new game. Or Journey 2. Whatever they call it in this one. Um, if we do either of them. Then yeah, maybe. But for now. Ah, fuck you Salivus. You can die in your hole. Sorry if Salivus is your favourite character. And it hurts you when I say this. But. Ebay. Alright, so yeah, we deliver this to Rani. And she'll be like, wow, you're way better than Blythe and EG. Ah, it was thee. Yeah, baby. Oh, Blythe, it seemeth. Even in my slumber, I sensed it. It is in thy possession, is it Just not? read to me every night before bed. Holy shit, this voice. Whoever the voice actor is, Chef's Kiss, good job. Voice actress, I should say. Who, who knows? That could be a dude. All right, so she's like, "Yeah, I gotta go do my journey." Boom! The inverted statues. So that's what we needed. That tower we were just at, so we can flip it upside down. Pretty obvious. Yeah, Torrance the G. Nah. Oh. Hey, um, not many women tell me that, so thank you. Um, yeah, anyway. Nah, I want to know if you've got four feet, like you got four hands. Lift the skirt. Just to your ankles. I want to see the feet. Show me. I can see two feet there. But are there another four dangling in the back? Okay, so that's it for Rani. She doesn't want to show us her toes. That's fine. Rani no toes. Boo. Everyone boo Rani in the comments. Say, Rani, show me your toes. Don't actually bother comment. I mean, you can if you really want to, but... <laughs> yeah. While we're talking about comments, why don't you like the video and leave a little comment on it? Would be nice. We'll go here to reset the thing, and then she will... Avamos. And if you don't know what that means, that means she will leave. Rani is going to leave now. <laughs> Head back up, just so we can double check. Do a little Spanish man spawn. Hell yeah, we look good, man. Next time we're at the round table hold, I'll try to remember to go to the mirror to show that you can um, change your eyes back if you want to. But yeah, now we have grass to touch up here for Rani's chambers. So we have Rani's rise, Rani's chamber. Um, I don't believe that resting here does anything. I think that's just it's just up here now to show you, like, yep, this place is done, brother. But the beam tells you, wait, something this way, maybe at Rena's rise, perchance, perhaps, per, per maiden? I don't fucking know, let's get down here. Come on, Tony, you're gonna take an elevator with me. Yeehaw. Can we beat it down? Go, Tony, go! No, Tony! Oh, he couldn't quite make the speedy drop. But anyway, yeah, we're gonna head out to where that Grace was pointing, which is just over there, to Rena's rise. We get a very cool outfit if you um you know are going for your fashion souls, which is very important to look good. It's one of the most important things in these games, honestly. Like yeah, having good poise or good defense or immunity or whatever, yeah, that that's important, I guess. But how you look, oh baby, that's what it's about. Oh, is there an orb here? I can hear it. Oh, hello. Hang on, sir. Oh wait, wait, hold on. I just yeah, sorry. Ah, oh, chilling mist. Brilliant. Give that the old chopper Rooney. Grab some bones and a liver. Mm -mm -mm. 
making a good stew. But yeah, if you remember when we first came here, there was a blue door in front of it. Now there is no door. I don't think there's something. No. Always good to check if you don't remember behind things. But yeah. You can hold circle or run or whatever your button is assigned to run to go up ladders faster. If you didn't know, it's very common in games to be able to sprint, quote unquote, up ladders. But yeah. Then you can come over here. Oh, the Snow Witch set. So that's the set Rani wears. So yeah, no pants, no shoes. So we know she's out here toeless. I don't know what she had on her little digits, but they definitely weren't shoes. And then we got a, another teleporter. Where could this one lead to? Honestly, I'm saying that like legitimate question. I'm kind of forgetting. Obviously, we're going to find out right now. But um, yeah, I'm kind of forgetting right now. <laughs> Enzel River Main. Ah, it is up here. Yes, yeah, so this path will lead you this way. I think over here there's a coffin you can take. And it'll obviously take you to the area that we've already been through. And this will take you through this way where we could see the grace down here after the boss fight that eventually will take you to the boss fight area and you can go fight the next boss yes 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 i remember now and this coffin comes from up here somewhere i believe that is from deep root garden which is somewhere over like this area something like that i think it's called deep root garden or something like that anyway let's grab this little miniature rani and then we'll go sit at the grace i don't think there's items around right here there's like fireflies and ducus turbo and stuff but, um, yeah, whatever. So, rest at the grace. You will now see a new prompt, talk to Miniature Rani. So you try that, nothing happens. You try it again, nothing happens. You try it a third time. She's like, what the fuck's wrong with you? Why are you talking to a doll? Yeah, she kind of, like, starts burning you now. Now she's like, bro, you did your thing for me. Why the fuck are you following me? This game is so pretty. Look at that. The name of Rani the Witch is already sullied by thee. I will not brook disobedience in this matter. Yeah, so before she was all like calm and shit, now she's all like Yeah. Eliminate painful shallows, name of rallies, boom. Do not fuck me round. But before she was all like calm and chill, she's like, ah hello, tarnish, blah blah blah. Now she's all like, yo, motherfucker, listen. So yeah, anyway. We take this path down and through to here and then I believe there's a another one of those dangling monsters here we can just run through and then I believe that takes us to the other dangling monster because that was just here yeah so the other dangling monsters here if you want you can take this pathway to get to that top area I was thinking of right or you just continue through to the actual intended zone but that'll probably be for tomorrow that'll probably be it for us today I don't remember if this is meant to be done before or, or after Altus, but um, we're here, so we'll probably do it up, you know? So I don't know why we did that, kind of sort of like, whatcha? But yeah, we'll probably do that tomorrow instead of um, other stuff. Oh, we could do the, um, what is it? Gale Tunnel, Jail Tunnel. That one's nice and, not nice and easy, but it's not too hard. At least I don't think it is based off my memory anyway. But that'll be for tomorrow's decision. Thank you very much for joining me for this part and this playthrough. I hope you've been enjoying yourself. Uh, I know I have. I fucking love this game, man. Uh, I will catch you tomorrow for some more Elden Ring. And, um, yeah, have a great day. I'll see you next time. Kakite.